Hi, today we are going to see Digital Circuits and Peter course Week 1 Assignment and this is Benila from RM Dini College. Which of the following statement is true about the analog signals? Analog signals can have an infinite number of possible values since the analog signals is going to have continuous signals. When was the first commercial IC produced from Fair uh, Child Semiconductor? It's on 1961. Which of the following number system is used by computers? It's binary. And if uh, 43 base x is equal to 39 base 10, then x can be equal to. So here each and uh, every, if your uh, value is defined by a base x, then each and every value, this value can be uh, denoted as the digit into the base power, the position. So 43 is can be uh, represented as 3 into x power 0 that base power position and 4 into x power 1 which is equal to 3 into 10 power 1 plus 9 into 10 power 0. So 4x plus 3 is equal to 30 plus 9 39. So 4x is equal to 39 minus 3 it's 36 and x is equal to 9. So the base x value is going to be 9. The number 52.68 in base 5 number system is equal to. So, if we ask you to get base 5 number now, so that value 52 should be divided by 5 and 0.68 should be multiplied by 5. So, in general, if you want to convert into any number system, base number system, x number system, now, uh, multiply that value by, uh, divide by value by x. And the decimal part should be multiplied by x. So here they ask you to find base 5. So divide 52 by 5. So uh, it's going to be 10 reminder 2 and 5 uh, again. So 2 reminder 0. So now this 0.68 should be multiplied by 5. So 0.68 into 5 is 3.40. Again this 0 0.40 should be multiplied by 5. It's going to be 2.00. So we can stop it. When you get the value as 0, 0. Now you have to take the value in this direction. That is going to be 3 and 2. So this 52.68 can be written in base 5 number system as 202.32. So this is going to be your base 5. So if they are going to get, uh, ask you to convert this one into base 7. You know? So divided by 7. 52 should be divided by 7. And this decimal value should be multiplied by 7. So if 78 base 6 is equal, base x is equal to 92 base 10, then x can be equal to similar to the fourth problem. So 7 into base power the position. So plus 8 into base power that position is equal to 9 into base power position plus 2 into base power position. So it can be written as 7x plus 8 is equal to 92. So 7x is equal to 84. 92 minus 8 is 84 and x is equal to 12. So the base x value is going to be 12. If 92 by 4 is equal to 23, the number of uh, the base of the number system is. So here we don't know the base of the number system. So we take it as x and then you can uh, represent it to the base x here. So 9 into x power 1 plus 2 into x power 0 divided by 4 into x power 0 which is equal to 2 into x power 1 plus 3 into x power 0. So this can be written as 9x plus 2 divided by 4 is equal to 2x plus 3. So this 2x plus 3 is can be multiplied by 4. So 9x plus 2 is equal to 8x plus 12. So 9x minus 8x is equal to 12 minus 2. So the x is equal to 10. So the base of the number system is 10 that is decimal. The value of base R if 121 bar 6 base 6 is equal to 144 base 8. So just represent it by uh, the position, the digits into base power the position. So this can be written as 1 into R power 0 plus 2 into R power 1 plus 1 into R power 2 is equal to 4 into 8 power 0 plus 4 into 8 power 1 plus 1 into 8 power 2. So which is nothing but R square plus 2R plus 1 is equal to 24 plus 32 plus 4. So I can write this r square plus 2r plus 1 as r plus 1 whole square and sum of 64, 32, 4 is 100 so 10 square. r plus 1 is equal to 10 so r is equal to 9. 
what is the binary equivalent of the fractional decimal number so they ask you to find the binary equivalent so divide this 27 by 2 and multiply this 0 0.1875 by 2 so 27 if you divide it by 2 you get it as 11011 and 0 0.1875 should be multiplied by 2 so it's 0 0.35 into 2 again this 0 0.75 into 2 again 0 0.5 into 2 again so till 0, 00 you get the value should be multiplied so now it is 0 0.0011 so on the whole 27.1875 binary equivalent is 11011.0011 the sum of 24 base 8 and 8, 74 base 8 is 120 base 8. It's an octal addition. 8 bit 2's complement form of minus 45 base 10 is given by. So the general formula for 2's complement form to find the 2's complement form is 2 power n minus x. So if it is 1's complement, uh, 2 power n minus 1 minus 6. So since it's 2 complement, 2 power n minus 8, they ask you to find 8 bit. So n value is 8 so 2 power 8 minus 45 so 2 power 8 is 256 so 256 binary value is 10000000 and 45 binary value is this so a bit of value is this so if you do binary subtraction the answer is 11010011 an hexadecimal to binary conversion can be accomplished by simple replacing each hexadecimal symbol by its dash binary equivalent. Hexadecimal is 0 to 15. The maximum value is 15. The binary digit for 15 is 4. So you need 4 binary equivalent. If it is octal to binary, you know, octal is 0 to 7. The 7 binary value is 3. So it's going to be 3 bits. Decimal value of signed magnitude binary format of this number is. So, uh, if you want to find the sign binary, uh, magnitude binary format, the MSB is going to give you the sign bit. This is for sign bit. So, if the sign bit is 0 now, it's positive, 1 or negative. So, here it is 0, so positive. And 1110 decimal value is going to be 14. Moore's law states that the number of transistors on a chip doubles annually. So, if A to D base 16 is equal to X base 8, find the value of X. So, here the um, uh, thing behind that is, uh, this hexadecimal value should be converted into binary and from, from binary, you have to convert it into octal. So, uh, how to convert this hexadecimal to binary is, each and every digit should be converted into binary. So, the A value a binary format value of A is going to be 1010 and then uh, 2 binary value is going to be 0010 and then uh, D binary format is going to be 1101. So this should be converted into octal. How to convert it into octal is from LSB group it into 3. So this one 3, this 3, then this 3, then this 3 that will give you the uh, octal value. So, 101, then 101, 000, 101. Now, convert it into decimal value. This 101 is going to be 5. Then, 000 is going to be 0. Then, 101 is going to be 5. Then, 101 is going to be another 5. So, the total value is going to be 5055 base 8. Thank you guys. Subscribe my channel for automatic updates regarding digital circuits and return assignment. Have a nice day.